The editor of the Guardian newspaper has revealed that he came under direct pressure from unnamed civil servants claiming to speak for the Prime Minister to destroy all materials related to Edward Snowden's revelations. Let's now discuss these uh, latest developments with lawyer and journalist Eva Gollinger. She's joining us live from New York now. Thanks for joining us here on RT. It seems that the Guardian newspaper has been put under quite a lot of pressure, hasn't it, by the UK authorities. How legal are these, these kind of tactics, as it were? Well, if we look at it in terms of legality under international law, of course, this is clearly uh, violating all concepts of what freedom of the press are. I mean, we're, we're talking about a, a journalist, a media outlet, um, journalists who are now also being threatened, intimidated, their spouses, partners as well, being detained and interrogated. Uh, so clearly, I mean, there, there's been a decision made that anything related to Edward Snowden uh, must be uh, captured no matter what, violating anyone's rights and, and, and under any country's laws, because clearly this would be illegal in the United States. I, I would assume, I'm a lawyer from the U.S., not from the U.K., but I would assume that it's it's, if it's not completely illegal, it's definitely borderline, and they're, they're crossing over some very delicate uh, lines there in terms of the rights of journalists, the rights of the media, and basic uh, civil rights in general. I mean, you mentioned intimidation there. I mean, Glenn uh, Greenwald says that the detention of his partner was very much about intimidation. Do you think this will prevent journalists uh, reporting on things like government surveillance in the future? I think it will depend on the journalist. Clearly, Glenn has come back and said, look, this isn't going to stop me whatsoever. In fact, it's just going to invigorate him even more to continue what he's doing. The more that people who believe in what they're doing, what they're reporting on, what they're writing on, what they're investigating, uh, the more principled they are about that and passionate, the more they will continue to pursue that work in the face of threats. I think often these types of of cheap threats and intimidations give people even more reason to continue doing what they're doing because it's showing that those in power are clearly frightened of the information that they're putting out in their reports. Um, so, but at the same time, it could certainly intimidate other journalists and, and create sort of a, 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 an environment of self-censorship where um, many would be unwilling to take the risks that are involved with national security reporting, particularly when it comes to the United States. And that, I think that's what the U.S. is going for here, is, is to try to impose that general sort of self-censorship self amongst journalists so that uh, they won't go out and seek out these stories and risk their uh, well-being to report on them. But hopefully there will continue to be many Glenn Greenwalds that will do so. You mentioned the U.S. there, and the White House says it has absolutely no involvement in uh, Miranda's detention. Do you believe that? No, I don't believe that for a second. Um, I mean, it's clear. We saw what happened in the case of President Evo Morales when his plane was basically detained, uh, sequestered for over a 12-hour period in Europe due to the fact that European nations wouldn't let him fly over, returning to his country from Russia. Uh, the U.S. at that time also said it had no role. But, I mean, we're talking about a, 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 a search that's going on for Edward Snowden or, or a search and capture, as it would be, um, knowing where he is. And they're trying to get him by any means necessary. And it's the United States who's leading that effort. It's not the U.K. and it's not other European nations. They're merely, merely abiding by the wishes of the United States. Obviously, the U.K. is one of the the strongest allies of the United States. So they're not going to betray the United States if, the, if Washington makes such a request. And what I believe is that the, Washington has simply put out there to all of its allies, look, anyone related to Edward Snowden must be detained if they come into your territory. And the UK abided by that and did their duty. Um, so uh, without a question, Washington is the sort of intellectual author behind the detention of David Miranda, whether or not they were directly involved. They were notified. We know that. The White House has admitted to that. And that notification in itself shows that the U.K. felt they had to tell the U.S., hey, look, we got one of the guys. You know, it was though they were looking for the approval of the United States, which I'm sure they got. Okay, I'll have to leave it there. Laurie and journalist Eva Gollinger, thanks very much for your views here today on RT.